to procrastinate here. Firstly, I'm sorry, I've not done much lately. I haven't made videos, and I haven't talked to you guys, I haven't made my two minute videos. Uh, but look, I've just been really, really busy working on some really, really cool things between work and also some of that kind of 3D cool stuff I wanted to do. You know, between taking the bike and putting in like a 3D scene making up a story, creating an animation. So I've been learning the Blender application. I'm kind of getting there, I'm familiar with the user interface. I can create some 3D models. I can import my model that I've created, uh, but it's gonna take a bit of work, right? Probably a little bit longer than I expected. I'm still trying to sort of um, piece together the puzzle, sort of think about what I want to do, kind of what I wanna, um, what I wanna create, so it can kind of be cool, right? Because I've got a really cool bike. I want to have a cool story to go with it. So, uh, next thing is, um, I've been working on my health. Um, and when I say my health, I've been working to try and get myself in the shape for summer. I'm training really hard. By the way, I was sick last week like a dog, uh, spewing my guts everywhere, which kind of really sucked. But um, yeah, stripped off a couple of um, kgs from that, so that was kind of cool. Um, yeah, was that the next one ever coming out? Uh, where was I now? Uh, bum, 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 bum. Oh yeah guys, so um, as I was saying, um, so I've been working on my training, get my training right. I originally posted a video which was um, like basically training all my body and that's people kind of go, well wait a minute, why don't you split it up into you know your uh, chest, biceps, bike triceps, or whatever kind of combination you want to do. And the reason I was doing that is because um, I had been training hard enough for long enough um, I was too inconsistent with my training over the last year or so, maybe even year and a half, and it just gradually progressively got worse. I'd go into it for five, six days, and I'd taper off two, three days, and it was just really up and down. So basically, the best way to train is just go at it hard out, work really hard, smash it out, and get like the consistencies where you get up in the morning, you know, you do a really good session, and if you overtrain, it's not the end of the world, it doesn't really matter. So anyway, um, probably about four weeks ago, I split that out into, you know, working, I actually work my back and triceps, my chest and biceps, my shoulders and my leg. Unfortunately, I don't normally train legs, I've got little legs, big arms, and um, one of the reasons is I get like problems with my back, and right enough, I start training my legs, I got problems with my back. Anyway, so as part of the kind of whole healthy thing, I decided at the end of July, last week of July, I'm gonna cut out all alcohol for August. So I kind of got the week at the end of July and also uh, for August, no alcohol. And it, I actually really enjoyed doing no alcohol and I had like a couple of events I had to go uh, go to. It was like free alcohol everywhere. And I didn't, you know, and at first I was like, oh, you know, why did I have to pick August? I didn't really think about that. Um, because you know, you like to have alcohol, you like to chill out. But you know what? Just goes to show when we kind of do things all the time, it's the, it's the, um, how would you say it? It's all the mechanism then for doing these things is not so much about you wanting to do them, they're there, so you end up doing it. So it's the events and the things that you do that dictate actually your decisions. So anyway, so I get through August, no alcohol, that's fine. Probably the first week and a half was kind of like, oh, would it be nice to have a drink here? Um, but honestly, now it's just no problem. So I'm actually uh, just past the second month of no alcohol, and I, don't, I only planned on doing it for a month, and it was just absolutely awesome. Man, training, you know, like it's a little bit easy, it doesn't impact the um, food and stuff. You Anyway, so gets August out of the way, then I thought, do you know what, I've done this for alcohol, one of my other little vices, vices? right vices is sugar oh my god like chocolate bar hello chocolate bar in the afternoon chocolate bar in the evening right and you know i, I ain't a fat bap or anything I'm, I'm still in good shape right but um you know like just eating crap just eating bad things uh, was impacting you know the training how i feel how good i feel about myself you know the uh, the get up and go, the energy levels I've got, etc. So I decided to have a whole September of no chocolate. And you know, the first week was, oh my God, I swear downwards in the nighttime, I was like dreaming about chocolate. <laughs> like, ooh. And then like I went a week and a half or so, like so for, for, I guess the mid part of the month was like really easy, but I swear downwards, I had um, my boy's birthday just the other week. And I was just looking at this cake, I swear to God, I could I could have I could have dived into this cake. Like my mouth was watering looking at this cake. And everybody's like, hey, do you want some cake? And I'm like, 
no, I can't have cake. Thinking, oh, do you know what? I feel like just throwing it out. And I thought, do you know what? No, 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 no. I'm committed. I'm committed. I've said I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. No alcohol, committed. No sugar, committed. Anyway, so we are a couple of days left at the end of the month. And I figured for argument's sake, it's more or less a month, right, since I've had any chocolate. And I'm going to at least have my last weekend of this month being able to eat chocolate. Because at the end of the day, I'm not going to continue on this forever. But I'm hoping that the moderation element of things, i.e. the not feeling the need to have a chocolate bar every night, the not feeling the need to have a chocolate bar in the afternoon, because I need an excuse to kind of go out and it makes you feel good. Um, that will be more controllable, which is just great. So my next thing is, um, I'm on a mission. I, it's kind of really cool being able to go, I'm gonna do this, and you commit to it, and you do it, right? Because it's, it allows you, yeah, it just allows you to really focus on things, I think, that you'd say you're gonna do, and you follow through with them. Um, so next month is gonna be no bread month. Whoa, that's another hard one. Bread, I swear, I think bread might even be harder than chocolate. I like my bread. I love my bread. Uh, you know, bread is with everything. I bread with my eggs, you know. I have bread with my cereal, it's toast. Uh, I've just bread on its own to fill a gap. Uh, I have a bit of fruit and then I have bread. Like, I, I, do, I find an excuse. I swear to God, they put like cocaine or something in that shit, right? Like, because it's so goddamn addictive. I just love bread. So. Next month is no bread. So, rundown, that's where I'm at. There's no bike video. Um, I did actually create one the other day and I was talking about some of this while I was riding the bike and I thought, you know what? I don't want to do another uh, vlog, you know? I just, I, I just thought it's gonna be more personal, talking to the camera, talking to you guys. And uh, yeah, it's a nice evening. I live in a lovely location, a little party scene over there, and um, yeah, you know, it's a kind of good rundown where you're at, and actually, while I'm on this, I'm, you know, like, I think that, I, I, I probably, what am I trying to say here, wow, because that plane is very distracting, so, um, I try and, look at your guy like I try and work in with my R's and stuff to keep up with what's going on with you guys and you know what you're doing from a content perspective because you know what's important and I enjoy it right I like I enjoy the engagement aspect of things um, but I will say over the last week and a half um, I really I really generally haven't had much time to kind of do that so I've probably fallen behind on where some of the videos so if some of you guys are going ah that's strange, we haven't seen MC Procrastinator comment something. I do apologize. You know, I have, like I said, I've been doing an awful lot of work in the background for all sorts of different things. Um, some of it relating to obviously the channel and some of it relating to obviously work and then obviously some of it relating to family life and stuff because I've got four kids and I've had um, a couple of birthdays this month with my uh, youngest daughter and uh, my youngest boy. So look guys, that's pretty much the roundup for me right now. Um, Big shout out to Dan, the Moto Dan. He had a pretty bad crash and he's a really good guy. Check him out on Instagram. I'll put his link in there just to say, hello, hope you're doing all well. I checked up on him the other day and he's going back to work soon. And, um, you know, Jumping Jacks, one, two, three. Love that, check him out. You know, I really like what he's doing at the minute to relate a story in the way that he formed his appreciation of bikes what made him get into that, kind of what really formed his perception on, I guess, on the way he lives his life, right? It's really interesting. Um, you know, we all have a story, right? And it's actually really interesting hearing other people's stories and what, where they came from and what makes them the person they are today. And then, um, yeah, one more kind of, um, well, I hope you get well soon, is um, Simon. He's the guy who bought my uh, previous Aprilia Tuano, uh, the red one, 2005. You guys might have seen the videos. And um, you had a really, really bad crash, and it's really, really quite bad. Um, he's got limited movement in his right arm. Hopefully, that's going to come right. And he's obviously got a broken leg and a couple other bits and pieces. Um, so, thumbs up, to Simon. I really hope you're going to get better soon, buddy. Um, great guy. 
you know, fantastic family and uh, yeah mate, get well soon. So for now guys, that's me, MC Procrastinator, out.